Hey, I'm Alex from the Kixie sales team. Welcome to Kixie in a minute. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your power list, everything from uploading your leads to managing teams and customizing your call outcomes so you can power through your lists efficiently. Let's jump in. When you're building a power list, you're going to assign that power list to a team, even if you're a team of one. Before creating a power list, navigate to manage and then teams to make sure you have a team set up before building your power list. Press this blue add button in the top right corner. Name your team anything you want. Choose members from the drop down menu, click add, and then save your team. Once you have a team built, under the same manage tab, navigate to power lists. Click this new team power list in the top right corner, and that will pull up the settings for this new list. The first step is to give your power list a name and set the priority from lowest to highest. This will help you keep track internally of which lists are most important for you to reach out to. And also, if you're calling multiple lists at a time, choose the priority in which the dialer calls your contacts. The two settings, max attempts and minimum duration before call retry are going to determine your outreach strategy. With daily max attempts, which can be toggled as high or as low as you like or set to unlimited. This determines how many times in a day the dialer will let you call any given contact on your list. The total attempts, which can also be toggled as high or as low as you like or set to unlimited, determines how many times total the dialer will let you call a contact on your list before removing it from that power list. If you don't want a contact to get removed from your power list, you can either set this to unlimited or you can queue up a secondary power list where that contact will move to after it has reached the upper limit for total attempts. The minimum duration before call retry is that the cooldown period, which determines how long the dialer will make you wait in between dial attempts to the same contact. Seconds before timeout determines how long the dialer will attempt to ring your prospects before it moves on to the next attempt and dials at a time determines how many contacts your dialer will ring at once in each batch of calls. This can be toggled anywhere between one and 10. The second tab down in the settings are your power list hours. This first block showing power list hours determine when your reps are able to dial the lists that you have provided for them. If you'd like to use hours outside of your regular business hours, you can toggle business hours off click edit power list hours and set the hours that you want your reps to be able to dial those power lists based off of your local time zone. The target hours use the area code in the phone number of your prospect to determine when you are able to dial those prospects and ensure that you are never calling them outside of appropriate business hours. If you'd like to use hours outside of the business hours you set, click on edit target hours and use this slider to determine which windows you would like to call those prospects within. The third tab down where it says contacts is where you're going to import your lists. Under data source, if you're using HubSpot, you can select HubSpot as the data source and use an existing CRM list. Or if you're importing from a spreadsheet, you select spreadsheet as the data source. You can use either a CSV or an Excel file. Choose select file, grab the file from your computer, and then that will open Kixi's mapping tool, which is where you're going to match your column headers to the preset Kixi headers. Once you make sure that everything on your list looks correct, click on preview, double check that everything looks like it's showing up in the right spot, and then click complete. The fourth tab down is call outcomes, and this is where you're able to use call outcomes to set up a couple cool automations. The top three automations used by Kixi users are forwarding to a power list. So based off of a call outcome that you select, you can have that contact forward to another power list, removing from a power list. So if you reach an invalid phone number or a disconnected number, you can have that automatically removed from your power list so you don't waste time dialing that in the future and sending an SMS template. A lot of our users like to do a double tap after leaving a voicemail by sending a text message. If you do like to send a text message, choose the outcome you want it associated with, select send SMS template, and choose the text that you want to send automatically after that outcome is left. 
The members section is where you assign ownership over a power list and ensure that your reps have visibility and accessibility to that list in the dialer. Simply choose the team you want to assign to that list from the drop-down menu, click add, and now that power list will show up for that respective team in their power dialer. Power lists let you scale outreach with structure and speed. Questions? Reach out to your dedicated account rep and we'll take care of you. Thanks for watching. Kick see you in a minute.